Hello, it is Rob here from Woodward English. How is everyone? Let's have a look. See who arrives to start off today is going to be a relaxing, just a relaxing conversation. Um, we're going to do one of our conversation questions. Let's make sure you can let me know if you can hear me. Um, what is your favorite family tradition and why is it your favorite? So that's what we're going to have a, a look at today. This Okay, it's, it's actually Saturday morning here in New Zealand. I'm fine, thank you, Angelica. How are you? Hey, Sam. Hello. How's it going? Let me know where you are in the world right now what country i know some of you it's very late at night some of you it's really early in the morning let me know today's just a relaxed conversation we're going to talk about this topic here and basically a bit of everything of course i always start saying hello to everyone for the first five or to ten minutes hello Egby, samora how's it going ibrahim hello I'm from Somalia. Good evening. How have I been? I've been great. Thank you. Hello, Blanca and ah, Mary Garcia. Hello. You've got Adan, Tomek, Nadine. So you've got some, some names that are quite familiar. This is nice. I like it when people... Hello, Elaine from Brazil. It's going very well. Thank you. It is Saturday here in New Zealand, Saturday morning, like about 10 o'clock in the morning. What time is it there where you are? You're from Talca, Chile. I actually did classes at the um, Universidad Católica de Maule in Chile. English classes. I taught the teachers there for IELTS. So I know all about Talca. I had to go there quite a lot. I live in, in, in Kenya, or Kenya. Probably did a typo there. Uh, okay, what else we got there? Um, oh, you got ah, Nasisa from Ecuador. Hello from Ecuador. We got for our old um, shoe. I'm gonna call you Baskerville. It's gonna be easier for me to pronounce. <laughs> 9 p.m. in the UK. Ah, you got Vanessa from Mexico. You got Selena. Selena, sorry. Selena from Italy. Margen, Margen from Lugo in España, Spain. Manuela. Yay, Mexico. Brazil. Brazil. How is everyone? How's your week been? For me, it's already the weekend. And for you, it's probably Friday night. How has your week been? You got turkeys. Cecil, Sicily. I was going to say Cecilia. And Palermo. You got Me Mexico. Ah, nice to hear my voice again. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, Today we're, not, we're, today we're just going to have a conversation, a relaxed conversation. This is your opportunity to use. It's this is your opportunity to use your, your English. Okay, you'll be typing it. Unfortunately, we can't speak it. But what I want to try and learn how to do one day is where I can, maybe via Discord. That could be interesting. Where like, we can actually have conversations with some of you. That, that could be a good idea, so we can just speak at the same time, like in real time. So that'd be a good thing to do. I, I need to plan it and prepare something like that. Does anyone here know, use Discord? Just let me know. Okay, so we've got, uh, got Sicily. Who else we got here? Elaine at 6 p.m., 11 p.m. It's dinner time. 10 p.m. <laughs> a late dinners. Yeah, I know. Some countries, you have that. No quiz game tonight. No. That's next weekend. Next weekend, we're going to have the games and quiz, because I'm going to do that, I think it's next weekend, yeah. We're going to do games and quiz. Today's a conversation to practice the language. But next weekend, we're doing the games. So we're going to just do, hello, Vivi, so good to see you. We've got um, Ibrahim also. Nadine, you're from Tunisia, Colombia, Saudi Arabia. How are you doing now? I'm doing great. I actually thought it was... You know, early, early, 10 o'clock on a Saturday, because usually I go to bed very late on Friday nights. I'm actually okay. I have my cup of coffee to, to keep me going. 
The week was boring, only food and TV. Can't go anywhere. Everywhere is closed because of the COVID. That's unfortunate. Ooh, there was a bit of snow in Europe, isn't there? Today is Friday, and today I have English class. So you have English class, you're a teacher or a student? Ah, we get lots of teachers saying hello, which is always cool. Very busy, intense week. Yeah. Okay. What else we got? Tell us the trust. What is your favorite? My favorite food. We talked about this. Wasn't Haven't we already talked about this? We always talk about food in these conversations. <laughs> in, these, in these relaxed conversations, we always talk about food. But I have a specific one about that. My favorite food, I love barbecues. Love barbecues. Totally. I was in third grade and didn't know English, but now I know English because of you. Really? Thank you, Blazy. That's, that's cool. I like that. I like to be able to help. Okay, so here, this is the question. Where is it? If I point over here. What is your favorite family tradition and why is it your favorite? Okay, so we've got, um, hello, good afternoon from the UK. You're a student. Cool. So everyone here, how long have you been learning English? Just curious. Always curious. Um, okay, I'll show that one. Right. So how long you been learning English? So I want to see if I can just do something. Let's go to this website. Aha! Good. It hasn't started. That's what I want. Now, I've actually got this conversation question up on the... Where is it? I've got to look at my version of it. Aha! So up here, I've actually... This is us live right now. If you go to woodwardenglish.com, we've got lots of things to help you. But if we go down to the English conversation, there's actually more than two lessons. I need to update it. Just click on learn more. It'll take you to the conversations that we have, which will open hopefully any moment now. So we've, we've had, what are you thankful for? Relive one day of your life. Describe a typical dish. We talked about that last time, the food. A typical dish from your country. And today it is, what is your favorite family tradition? You click on there. And then we've got lots of things we can talk about to help you, different ideas. Okay? So if you want, you can just go have a look at that. And if you need to know the members of the family, actually, I'll, I'll copy this. And I'll... I'll copy this directly. Where is it? I'll put this in a chat for you. Here we go. There's one. So that's where you can find it. Ah, so you're... F oh, cool. I'm going to read all of these very soon. And if you want to know the members of the family, I'll put that in the chat too. There it is. It takes you there. But we're going to... Where is it? Here. We don't need that one. Goodbye. And we'll go back to dun dun, conversation question right here. Okay, let's have a look. Just need my version. Perfect. What do we say here? Jorge Molina says, My favorite family tradition. Oops, before it disappears off my screen. Make a roast before New Year's Eve. Really? Are you talking about a roast or a barbecue? Ah. Because a roast is when it's in an oven. Okay, I'll sh I'll look at this. Do you know what an oven is? Okay, look at this. I'm going to draw something. I'm going to do some terrible drawing. And let's have a look at this. What is an oven? Uh, okay. So we have... Oh, God, this is terrible. Oh, God. This is why I'm a teacher and not an artist. Look at... Oh, no. Getting there. This is... Well... This is terrible. Oh, okay, not good. Okay, what am I drawing here? Look at this. Here we go. Look at... This is this is my... Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. What I'll do is... One second. I'll just grab it. You can't see all of this, so I'll grab it. Bring it down. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Oi, get it all. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Magic, movie magic. Okay, it's not movie magic. 
Okay, what is this called? This whole thing? What is it? You know what it's called? It is called a... I've already presented myself. My name's Rob. <laughs> I think I said that. Yeah, I said it at the beginning. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, so what's this top part called? Anyone know? Anyone know what the top part is? Okay, oven is orno. Yeah, oven is that part there. You know, you open it up, you put cakes in there. You also put a roast in there. And the top one, this one here, that top part is called a stove. Just so you know, random information. So this part here where you put the frying pan and the pots, these are the stove, this is the oven. A roast is inside an oven. Very good, pollito. It goes in the oven and the top part's the stove. And the other one that you might be thinking of is a barbecue, the BBQ. So, let's have a look. So, uh, where is it? So, who was that? Da -da 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 -da. Ah, so Jorge, was it a roast or a barbecue? And Baskerville says, unfortunately, I had no favorite family tradition, nothing at all. How about saying, singing happy birthday, maybe? Yes, thanks for us. I've been learning English since I was seven. Wow, that's good. Are yeah, you from Romania? Okay. Margen says, in Lugo, northwest of Spain, we're confined, so sad weekend. Tradition here now, carnival. But there's lots of carnival, carnivals and celebrations that are not happening right now around the world because of, you know why. Great food because the rest is forbidden because of COVID. So what type of food do you have? Let me know. Saudi Arabia, English is beginning. Okay. What else we got? Uh, from India. I've just discovered you by chance. This is great. Yeah, this is just, I do this, um, try to do it every weekend. Now, I've finished vacations, finished lots of things. I'm here. Peru. Okay, you'll visit the page later. It's just to help you. It's okay if you, you're welcome to listen. And, oops, I've just gone and lost it. Ah, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, uh, sorry, a barbecue. Yeah, so it's barbecue. Ah, so it's a stufa and okay, so yeah, that's interesting about Spanish. You got regional names, different things, because some people call this a stufa and some call it an orno. It depends on the country. But this part here is yeah, that's the oven, that's the stove part. Picasso, yes, ha, my talents are amazing. You can see why I'm a teacher and not a, an artist. <laughs> In my family, one nice. Tra this is what um Silena says. In my family, one nice tradition was to prepare homemade pasta, like fusilli, with an iron stick, rolling it on a wooden table. <gasps> that sounds interesting. Is there a special occasion for this? Silena, is there a special occasion for this when you're making your fusilli? Is it like, is it like for like a, a celebration for a birthday or just like i'm hungry let's go make some of this oh well, that sounds good making own pasta it's like making food together is quite a good one blanca says our favorite traditions are oh this would be in mexico yeah november the 2nd the day of the dead Dia de muertos in mexico <gasps> that that's a celebration i would like to to see, to visit, to partake in, to be a part of. Like, so interesting. I've learned about it, all the, like, the different things you eat and the traditions and things like that. So that's, a, that's your favorite family one. That, that's an important one in Mexico. Now, some people here don't know about the Day of the Dead. In Mexico, if you want, you can try and explain it here in English to help others. Yes, it's nice to meet you too, Margent. Stove, stove. Oh, I'm behind in the chat. It happens. And our favorite uh, tradition is, ah, the Eid. Explain that one, Glider. Explain it. And I, I know it's a religious one, but what happens? This is your opportunity. For example, I can say, uh, my favorite celebration is my birthday. Or just what, birthday. It's like, yeah, okay. In English, it's always good to try and give more. If you try and ex explain more, talk more, give more examples. 
For example, if I say, what's what do you do in your free time? And I'm like, oh no, what is a typical dish from your country? And you say, pavlova. And if I say pavlova, people are like, what is that? What is it? And that's one word. Ah, pavlova is a typical dessert here from New Zealand. It's very hard to make. It's made of meringue, and it has slices of fruit on the top and fresh whipped cream. So if you give more information about the different things, it's always good because that is when you discover the vocabulary you need. That is when you discover the structures and everything that you need. So always try and give as much as possible. Always try and give as much as possible when you're giving explanations because that's like, ah, that, that's a great thing. What do you do in your free time? I read. I sleep. I used to always hear that. What do you do in your free time? I sleep. I'm like, wow, fascinating life. <laughs> but it's like, no, I like to, there are different types of sleep. Sleep, you're like, you can sleep from midnight until seven o'clock, as some people do. Or what do you call that short sleep? That very short sleep, where it's only like in the afternoon, you're, you're, it's in the afternoon, it's the sun is there, and you're like, ah, oh, this is so good. And, and then, oh, five minutes pass, 15 minutes pass. That is not a sleep. That is a nap. It's two words. Article, a nap. Or you can actually, like, you can take a nap or have a nap. Depends on the country. You take a nap. Do any of you have naps sometimes in the afternoon, especially on the weekend? On the weekend, in summer, it's like, oh, so good. And then you wake up. Yeah, that's a nap. What else we got? Reading through more of your things. I won't read all of them immediately. I'm going through everyone. I want to read every person and what they say. Um, our favorite. I've already read that one. Oh, no. I've gone and lost it. Ah, here it is. Oh, Ruth. Hello, Ruth Torrenegra. I'd say Thanksgiving. But in Colombia, we do not celebrate it culturally. Yeah, and it's that's more like in Canada and the United States they celebrate Thanksgiving, which is it's an interesting celebration that one. So I'll go for celebrating Christmas together, having a nice dinner, and then talking about what we're thankful for. That's a great one, Ruth. I like that. Now, just out of curiosity, I might know the answer, but I'm not going to say it. How do you celebrate Christmas, the Christmas dinner? Because in many countries, and for example in South America, they have dinner at night on the evening on Christmas Eve. Okay, so you've got Christmas Day. Is that the other one? Let's have a look at this one. you got Christmas Day. Oops, day. <laughs> Learn to spell, Rob. And we have another one, which is... Over here, you have Christmas Eve. What's the difference? Christmas Day and twin Christmas Eve. The difference is... Uh, where's a pen? Here it is. This one here, Christmas Eve, is the 20... I should have actually typed it. The 24th. 25th. It's hard because I'm looking at the screen and I'm writing over here. <laughs> okay. Eve is the night before a special occasion or a special event. For example, you have New Year's Eve. What day is New Year's Eve? It's the 31st of December. New Year's Eve. And New Year's Day is the 1st of January. But Eve can be used in other situations. For example, on the eve of the wedding, you know, when they get married. Da, 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 da. On the eve of the wedding, she ran. <laughs> no, she was nervous. <laughs> she escaped. No, on the eve of the wedding, she was nervous. So Eve is like the night. It's usually the night before a special event or a special occasion. What else we got? So, um, old Ruth, Ruth Torrenegra, 
Do you have your dinner on Christmas Eve at night or during the day? Because in New Zealand, we're like on Christmas Day, the 25th, you have like big lunch. It's like lunch more than dinner. That's a cool oven. Yeah, you can buy it at your local department store. It's on sale now. Um, do I know Spanish? Yes, I understand Spanish. And I can speak it too. Um, you're from Algeria. Yeah, and today we have... Ooh, really? Becca, today we have the Candelarias Day. And we eat tam tamales. Oh, can you explain that um, Candelarias Day? I've heard of that word. I've heard of it. Could you explain it, please? Say, Candelaria is... Blah, 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 and give lots of it. Information about it. I'm, I, I like learning things about other cultures, other countries, other places. I love it because it can help me form with those quiz nights. <laughs> No, I just like learning. Um, Blanca. It's not Bianca. No, it's Blanca. Blanca Olga. <gasps> I like to do cookout with your family. Ooh, that's good. Is there any special times? Or is it like, like on Fridays, maybe? Or on the weekend? Or once a month? How often? Or how frequently do you have those cookouts? Bla um, Blanca. So, Elaine, I, lo I love barbecue. I love barbecues, too. I'm, I'm the barbecue man. Okay, so old Margen says, we boil the complete head of the pig. We show it on the table. And then each person has a favorite part. Oh, God. It's said that each part has a different flavor. Wow. I could, I could do that. I could do that. I love experimenting. I could probably do it once. But that's interesting. So you have the complete head of a pig. So each one, so it's like on a plate and everyone takes parts of it. That's interesting. Some people like that. You've got like the eyes and the ears and... It sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I, need, I need some, I need some water. Okay, so in Morocco we make couscous every Friday. Really? Is that in your family tradition or Morocco in general? Let me know if, it's a, if that's just in Morocco or your family. Let's keep going. Let's go. Let's go down a little bit more. Yes, when all the relatives were together for a birthday or Christmas. Can you explain email conversation? That's for another time. Today we're looking at family traditions. Each day is a different topic. Uh, I will do a video about email vocabulary and things like that, but it's not today, and I haven't started it yet. So that's coming up. Margen says we also make something called. Was it fios or filoa? There's double L, so it must be fios. It's similar to pancakes, but with blood. Blood pancakes. Here people can kill pigs at home. We use it to cook fios. I know that can be strange if you're not from here. I've never heard of, that's the first time in my life I've heard of blood pancakes. Is it for a special occasion or just like on the weekends or something like that? I'm just curious. Hello, LAB. <laughs> My teacher says, give me the complete sentence when I'm in classes. And that's the thing. Because some people just like, yeah, they give like the short one. Always try and give as much as possible because that is when you discover all the things you need. It sounds great like you say different examples. Nap, nap, nap. Oh, that was a what? That was about five minutes ago. I gotta hurry up. <laughs> yeah, you got siesta. <laughs> In my free time, I watch anime and cook, and sometimes I watch TV with my sister. Nice. You love naps. You never take a nap. I love naps after cycling all morning. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, oh, here it is. Good one, glider. Here it comes. Ida's a tradition, sir, which comes after uh, Ramadan. You, could, you put Ramzan, I think. Unless it's a different way of spelling. Ramzan, that is 30 days of fasting. If you don't know what fasting is... Okay, everyone knows what fast. Okay, let's... You've got to take a nap here. This is a, this is a, this is a good word. This is a good one. Thanks for letting me know this or talk about this one. Okay, everyone knows fast, which is an adjective. Fast means... <laughs> Woohoo, that went really fast. Like, I can eat chocolate very fast. Like, ah. 
that is fast, but that is the adjective or adverb. But you can also have the verb too fast, which is completely different and nothing to do with the other fast. Okay, let's go. This one here, this fast is an adjective, uh, means rapid. But too fast is something different. So this is different. Too fast means to not eat food during a certain period. And it's usually for, often for religious um, reason, reasons, or because of a diet. So to fast is like, you know, is so you don't have food over a certain period of time. It could be like from sunrise to sunset is quite typical. And when the sun goes down, you can eat again. There are some celebrations like that. So you fast, which means you don't have any food during that time. So that's a good one. That's, thank you for sharing that one, Glider. I could explain something new. Special dish is eyed. See, see why? Made of flour and thin as hair, really. Pollito, pollito says my favorite addition is to look at photo, look at photos of all the year with my family in a computer on New Year's Eve. Oh, that's a cool tradition. I like that. It's funny to to recall, to remember, to remember. Yeah, that's a cool tradition. I like that one. So like on New Year's Eve, you're like looking through the photos, like, Ugh, look what, oh, look what I did there. Oh, another embarrassing photo. Oh. <laughs> but that's cool, just looking at the photos as a family. That is a cool tradition. I like that one, Pollito. That's cool. And Margen, here we celebrate Carnival three weeks. Three weeks. It started yesterday. Is there dancing and eating and celebrating? It's like Noche Buena. Okay. Hi. Hello, lovely TV. Okay, hi. I hesitate because my mistake tendency in English is more... Never worry about mistakes, Glider. Never worry about mistakes. Have you heard me speak in Spanish? I make mistakes all the time. But I don't care. Doesn't matter. The most important thing is to try, communicate, and that is when you discover what you need and what you don't need. 24th and 25th. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember, with these dates here, over here... It's not just the 24 or 25, we, ha we use ordinal numbers. So it's like 24th, that TH at the end, got to, you know, sorry about the camera. <laughs> 24th, 25th, it's like thank you, the TH. So with the days, we always, uh, when we say the day, 24th, 25th, except for certain ones like 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, etc. Good tip about Christmas. I forgot what I said. <laughs> okay, Elaine says, of course, I really love when the whole family come to my house for the weekend. Nowadays, only for a day. Oh, we usually prepare to del um, a delicious barbecue, pasta, Japanese food, feijoada, ah, Brazilian, typical Brazilian dish on cold days. Yum. So that's, that's good. Getting together with the family just on... There are some families they get together every weekend, and that's a cool thing. That's a really cool thing. I'd like to spend with them every day. I feel angry. Yeah, I know. Lots of people like to do that. Yeah, in Colombia, it's more common to celebrate Christmas Eve. It is. However, it's all <laughs> and and Christmas Day is just like recover. Like, uh, too much food, too much drink. <laughs> However, it's also very common to have a barbecue and beers the day after. That sounds like my thing. Uh, Marie Lu um, Lucia says, uh, oh, okay, here we go. It's in Portuguese, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, about American English. You want me to, you want to know more details about American English? I speak general English. I'm from New Zealand. English is my first language. Many people are worried about British English, American English. Don't worry about it. Learn English. Just learn English. Communicate. That's the most important. Doesn't matter if it's British or American. There are only small differences too, so don't worry about that one. And we've got Morocco. 
Um, what else we got there? The blood pancake. Oh, here it is. Candelaria Day is the day that cuts winter in two halves. Whoosh. And after that, days start to become longer. If that day rains, that means spring is going to be sunny and warm. If not, spring is going to be bad. So if it rains, it's a positive thing. That's interesting. Thank you for sharing that. That's cool. Hi, hello, regards from Guatemala, San Jose, Pinula. My favorite family tradition is when we get, we all get together. Change that order just a little bit. When we all to get together in December for a gift. A ah, gift. You want, you're thinking about gift. Because gift is the other one, like the memes, the memes. <laughs> gift exchange. Oh, okay, that's cool. Hello, Edward. Blood f um, fiaos are just possible now for only for the carnival. Okay. We don't eat the eyes of the pig. That's good. That's good to know. I just thought they take their favorite parts. You just don't know. And, of course, this tradition is a festival celebrated by Christians, the majority of Mexicans, in honor of the Virgin of the Candelaria. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Becca. The ears of the pig are the best part for my husband and for me, the nose. Ah, what do you call? Okay, who knows this? What do you call the nose of a pig? The nose of a pig is called... I'll do it over here somewhere. You know, that round thing. It's got two holes in there. It's not called a nose, it's got a specific name. You can say nose, but specifically, if you want, like, perfect, snout. Actually, dogs have snouts, too. It's like a nose and a mouth part that comes out. So, yeah, it's a snout. Random word that you didn't need to know, but I shared with you anyway. I do that. What else we got there? The ears of the pig. <laughs> The day derives from the Day of the Kings on January the 6th. I know about the Day of the Kings. That's, where, that's like in, in Spain. You have the you know, Dia de los Reyes. It's like the Day of the Kings where it's like celebrates where the three kings arrived and you give gifts and everything like that. Too fast, exactly. Thank you so much for, for demanding my English. Perfect. Nice work. So from the word fast derives another one. Brick fast. Tomic. You are the one, exactly. Because fast was like to, I should keep up with the conversation. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, that's the origin of the word break um, breakfast. Because you break the fast. Because when you're sleeping, you don't eat during the night. So, here it is. To fast is like you don't eat. And that's what happened when you sleep. And let, do you know how to sleep and eat at the same time? I don't. I didn't learn that at school. So this is the origin of, if you look at breakfast. Breakfast comes from breaking fast. Breaking that time where you didn't eat during the night. Thank you for reminding me that one, Tomek. That's brilliant. Um, hey, everyone. Hey, Lakshay. Uh, we fast in Ramadan. Exactly. It is a Muslim religion. I know all about that one. I know it's like, for yeah, you fast. That's why I mentioned it. Because it's like to fast is when you don't eat from sunrise to sunset. Uh, uh, oops. Oh, God. Sometimes I move the, the chat and everything disappears. Okay, here it is. Uh, uh, happy, <laughs> happy to see my smile. Yeah. Even though it's the morning. Roska is a very famous bread. And you, uh, and you, and you get the little Jesus. It is the, it is in the rosca. Ah, it's inside there. It's like a little. Okay, on February second, you have to give tamales to your friends and family. Ooh, that's interesting. So it's like a month. Okay, so you give the, the, the tamales to your friends and families. What else we got? Um, national. I like National Day celebrations. Oh, July or Julio Bravo. <laughs> July, Julio. <laughs> I'm I'm assuming your real name's Julio Bravo, not July Bravo. <laughs> okay, your national parties, National Day celebrations. So it's the 28th of July in Peru. How do you celebrate? How do you do that? What do you do? Do you have the? Do you have the ceviche? What else you got there? 
barbecues. How often do I do this? Every, almost every weekend, I do these relaxed conversation classes, Margent. Today, it's a conversation. Next week, next Saturday, we're going to play some games. The next week after that is conversation question number five. And then the other weekend, I'm doing a special game. Not the games we normally play. It's called The Correct Word, Error Analysis. It's an awesome game, an awesome game. But I'll tell you more about that one later when we get closer to it. It's like, oh, it's my favorite class that I used to do. It's actually a class and you learn some great vocabulary and everything. So that's how often I do it. I've just discovered and I'm very happy. Please tell me your timetable. No, this is just once a week. Once a week when I have time. International English. It doesn't matter where. Exactly, Elaine. International English. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Communication is the most important thing. That is so correct. In Algeria, we have a tradition on the wedding eve. On the, on the eve of the wedding, we put henna in all of our woman hands. It's a red color. I know. That's interesting. So it's on both hands or just one hand? Oh, and the, or the hands of all of the women or the bride. Okay, so we have the bride and we have the groom. Sometimes there are two brides, there are two grooms, doesn't, whatever. But traditionally, you have the bride as the woman that's getting married. Could be one or two. Or it could be the, or the groom is the man that's getting married. So the bride, so the bride has the henna painted, drawn, or put on their hands. That's cool. Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, everyone's doing pretty good here, I think. Um, snout, thanks a lot. Dying, <laughs> dying and learning. <laughs> um, ooh, that's a good one. <clears throat> Glider has a question. What's the difference between tradition and custom? That's a very good question. I actually need to think about that. Like just from the top of my head, a tradition, okay, like a family tradition, like custom is more the habits of a country. It's like the typical habits. For example, a custom in, for example, in Chile in, or some countries in South America, they put lemon on their salad. In New Zealand, we don't do that. So that's like a custom. Or another custom is, ah, this is a custom. For example, a custom is, for example, in South America, in France, in many, many countries, <clears throat> When you say hello to a person, you do it with a kiss on the cheek. Sometimes one, sometimes two. Depends on the country. It's like when you say hello, it's like, mm, like that, okay? That is a custom. In New Zealand, unfortunately, we, or many English-speaking countries, you don't greet a person like that. You just, like, stand a distance. It's very, yeah, it's very, not very, fr I don't know. If it's, okay, it's, you're not fr it's, it's not friendly, but it's... You have this more of a distance. I like the one where you, hello, you shake the hand and you kiss on the cheek or shake the hand. I like that way of greeting. It's really cool. Um, so, and what did I say? And that's a custom. So the custom in many countries is to kiss on the cheek. Tradition is like a specific moment. It's like a specific moment or time of year or day where a certain things happens. So it's along those lines. I will actually need to look for that because that would be a good chart for me to create about the difference between custom and tradition. I can make a chart about that. That's a really good one. Thank you for asking that. Interesting explanation of the word breakfast. Amazing. Yeah, that's the origin. Uh, so you're a new member. That's great to have you along here. If snout is for pig, muzzle is for dogs. Yes. Exactly. But sometimes it's also called, um, you can call it, some people call it a snout too. You like hit them on the snout, the top part. Yeah. Fun plus learn, Rob. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes. Message loading. 
And twenty uh, fifth Christmas Day. Do you know um, Monte Peloso celebrations? It's in the Basilicata, south of Italy. No, I don't. Come, um, Carmela. Tell me more about the celebration. I love to know. Jorge Molino, teacher, you have a fun way to teach English. Thanks a lot. I oh, no, I just, I talk. I'm just relaxing. I'm talking with you. <laughs> Does anyone, is anyone from Latin America? There are a lot of Latin Americans here. Lots of Latinos and Latinas here. Sadly, we don't have any, tra you don't have any traditions in your family. Nothing at all. Live, I'm live, Gabriel. But sometimes it takes me time to read everything. I need to go to my English class. Bye. Enjoy your English class, Becca. You got the costumbre and tradi tradición. But I don't, yeah. Oh, I've just gone and lost everyone's. Uh, here it is. Um, here we go. Yeah. Do you celebrate carnival in New Zealand? Well, actually, <clears throat> today, I think, yes, <laughs> today is the 6th of February. And what happens on the 6th of February in New Zealand? It is the National Day of New Zealand is today, the 6th. Okay, most of you are still Friday. In New Zealand, we live in the future. <laughs> we live in the future in New Zealand. It is 10 o'clock on Saturday, the 6th of February. And today is the National Day of New Zealand. And it celebrates the signing of the, the Treaty of Waitangi, which was the treaty between the, the native people, the Maori people of New Zealand, and the, 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 the crown of England, okay? Like agreement where they would live together and everything like that. So that's today. Unfortunately, in New Zealand, we don't have cool celebrations and big barbecues and things like that like in many other countries unfortunately so maybe i should i should i should do my own traditions it's a new zealand national day i'm gonna have a barbecue i'm gonna eat and drink and celebrate okay in waitangi the small town in the north of new zealand they do some celebrations but in general it is just like yay no work so on Monday in New Zealand, it's a public holiday. Because if it's not, today is a Saturday, so we have an extra day on Monday. Okay, so it's a long weekend. When you have three days of celebrations, oh, no, not three days, three days where you don't work, like Monday is a holiday, or Friday is a holiday, it's called a long weekend. Okay, so... Unfortunately, we don't have any carnivals in New Zealand. It's, it's like boring like that. Any special food? Oh, yeah. Oh, my favorite food, New Zealand food, is hangi. Oh, we talked about food last time. But I look at the last video. It's called a hangi, where like you cook food under the ground with hot rocks. <gasps> and um, Jairo loves lemon on salad. In New Zealand, we don't do have lemon on salad. It's crazy for some people. I have a salad here in New Zealand. You have some dressing, which is not sour like a lemon. So when I was in, in for example, my first salad in Chile, I was like, oh, salad is like lemon. What happened? I wasn't expecting it. There are different customs. Hmm. All women and bride. Ah, and one finger of the groom. Which finger? The middle finger? The, this finger? The little finger? So all of the women and the bride, the bride. That's fascinating, Farima. Okay, which so it's just one finger of the groom. That's cool. I like that. That is so interesting. And I've got to drop the chat down so I can, where is it? Read everyone. I love English, but I hate geography. I must search after this where New Zealand is. Don't worry, New Zealand sometimes doesn't appear on maps. <laughs> because it's like, you've got Australia. Okay, okay, this is this is where things get terrible. Okay, you watch this. Okay, this is this is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be really bad. This is gonna be bad. Now, yeah, what's this? What's this? What's that? Okay. <clears throat> Prepare for disaster. Okay, I'm going to draw. This is hard to draw like this. Okay, you've got. Okay, make sure I don't do it at the top here. 
Here you've got Australia, like this. You've got the Philippines and everything up here. And then you've got Southeast Asia. There's Australia. Yep. Yeah. And New Zealand is over here, like little islands. Not little islands. You've got two islands, big islands. North Island and South Island. Original names, isn't it? North Island, South Island. Australia's West Island, if you know. Anyway. So New Zealand, are like by plane, is like two or three hours, two and a half hours, three hours from the coast. So we're just islands in the middle of the Pacific. That is New Zealand. Ha! Not, don't worry, not many people know where it is. <clears throat> okay, um, I love to put an altar, an altar, in the Day of the Dead. But, uh, but it's really spooky when you clean it up and discover <gasps> that there is less food or beverage of the offering. Ah! I know that tradition. Yeah. Because sometimes you have photos of the people too. I, I knew this information before the movie. I knew it all. But yeah, suddenly the food disappears like, oh, oh. But isn't that like when Santa eats the biscuit and Santa eats your drink that you leave him? Santa Claus? <laughs> Hi, ha Hajar or Hajar. I don't know if I can pronounce that well. Dia de Muertos. It is a Mexican tradition. You're from California. Hello. Peru, present. Good afternoon. Oh, I've got to move my chat. What is this? Um, Today, we're having an English conversation. That's what we're doing. What is this? We're having a relaxed conversation. This is the opportunity for everyone to practice their English, typing it in the chat, and just relax. Because many people don't have the opportunity to practice English. I mean, you got sometimes you're in a classroom, and it's like... What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? I eat, I sleep, I drink. And it's difficult to communicate and interact. So this is what we do here. It's not for basic levels. I mean, basic people, students, level students <clears throat> are welcome. But this is more for like intermediate and advanced to use the language. Actually, anyone. Uh, I love how you teach English. Good method. Probably my videos, not my live ones. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, my favorite um, family tradition is the journey to the river after the Christmas night in Colombia. Like a picnic with family members, members you've not seen very often. Oh, that sounds cool. Which river? Any river or is it a specific river? That sounds like good. So that's like the next day. Is it the next day on Christmas Day or on Christmas Eve. Up here, there's Christmas Eve, the 24th. Are you familiar with Kimbra? Yes, I know Kimbra. She lives just next door. No, just kidding. <laughs> In New Zealand, we don't have many people. Everyone knows everyone just about. No, there's 5 million people in New Zealand. I know Kimbra. She's a very good singer. Um, she's the only artist from New Zealand. You haven't heard of Lord? L O R D E. She does that song, Royals. I'm not going to sing. You're trying to get me to sing. I'm not going to sing. Because everyone will just disappear. I guarantee it. <clears throat> okay. It is a traditional religious celebration. It is also saints like um, Euphemia and Saint... I've got to move my chat. I can't read it. One second. Okay. So it's a religious celebration. And... Where is this? Uh, from Where's everything? Ah, just getting rid of spam here. Ah, the Eid celebration, couscous food. We also have three days off next week. Carnival week. You got three days off. It's this weekend. But I decided, no. Instead of going, traveling, I will come here and talk to everyone. <laughs> um, what's the difference between acidic and sour? Ah, very good question. Acidic can actually refer to acid also. Sour is more common. If you're talking about lemon, sour is the most common thing. You can say it's acidic, but acidic is when you're more talking about the chemistry of things. It's more like chemistry. If you're talking about the, 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 the taste or the flavor of food, sour. Lemon, Ugh. sour. Uh, Sarah, acidic and sour, they're pretty similar. They could be syn uh, they, they are, could be synonymous. But when you're talking about food, normally, in a normal conversation, 
General English, don't use acidic. Use sour. It's the most common. Fasting Ramadan is not only fasting for food and drink. It is also fasting for all sins. Okay. But you have to behave yourself. You can be naughty the rest of the year. Hello, everyone from Veracruz, Mexico. I know nothing about New Zealand. It's far, far, far away from here. Don't worry. Not many people know about New Zealand. I'll tell you one thing about New Zealand. There are more sheep than people. That's all you need to know. More sheep than people in New Zealand. New Zealand, there are 5 million people, and there are about 40 million sheep. Random. Have you got random fact about your country? Let me know. I love these things. <clears throat> a kiss on the cheek to greet someone. In Brazil, when you give two kisses, people usually say three to get married. Oh. <laughs> ah, so in Brazil, it's two. Yeah, so some countries, it's one. I think in, in France, they do three, don't they? They do three in France, maybe? Not too sure. Anyone here from France or know about that? Let me know. Everyone in France gets married then. We don't actually believe in that, but it's always a funny icebreaker thing to do and say when greeting people. Ah. Is it like, nah, and three to get married. Hello, I don't know you, but let's just get married. <laughs> okay, so good afternoon, teacher Colombia. This is Mirta. We have we celebrate on um, Christmas Eve our dinner, rice, salad and eggs. Cool. That's nice. That's your favorite that's your favorite family's celebration. Move the chat down. Hello from Russia. Hello. Is it right? Cricket team in New Zealand is called Kiwi as slang, but why? <gasps> oh okay. Talking about Kiwis. Kiwi is a bird. The word kiwi comes from New Zealand. Do, do I want to try and draw a kiwi? <gasps> it's going to be terrible. Especially on this device. It's going to be terrible. Okay, I'm going to draw. try and draw a kiwi. If you look for it in, a, in Google, you'll find what it really looks like. Don't believe what I'm doing. Okay. A kiwi looks like this. Uh, okay, that's a bit too big. Oh, God, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, I told you. This is terrible. You got an eye there. That, okay, this is the beak. That That's just... This is the... <laughs> I've, I'm sorry. I've got to erase that part. That part's terrible. Okay, hang on. That part is terrible, this part. I'm going to do that again. Oops, where is it? It does not look like that. Okay. Art lessons with Rob. What not to do? <laughs> is that the one I need? Okay. That's be it's a bit better. Okay, it's small. It's a long, thin, small beak. This is the national bird of New Zealand, the kiwi. Uh, it has like very, very small wings, but it does not fly. A kiwi does not fly. This is the national bird of New Zealand. If you look for photos, you're like, oh, they look so cute. They look so nice. Yes, they do. They're, they're cute. Not my picture. This is a kiwi. The kiwi is the national bird of New Zealand. And people from many countries, like from Australia, England, and some other countries, they don't say, I am a New Zealander, because New Zealander, oh, it's a very long word. They call us kiwis because of our national bird. Okay? So I am a kiwi. I learned this when I went to South America. I said, ah, I am a kiwi. And they're like, what? Are you a fruit? The fruit, the name of the fruit, comes from New Zealand. Because the fruit here is called kiwi fruit. And they look the same. These are brown, and the kiwi fruit's brown. Yeah. Yeah. Random information. So people from New Zealand are often called Kiwis. That is the reason. I hope that answers you, Glider. You are my birth. Oh, here we go. Look at the look at these things. Look at these cute things. Can you see them? Here's a Kiwi. Okay. Typical bird. So you come to New Zealand, you've got lots of birds. Okay, look at this one here. Another one. Cute Kiwis. Hey, they fight. Ah. Okay, they're not gonna fight. Don't fight. Behave. Behave. 
There we go. <laughs> the, and nope. They did not fly. They're, yeah. I, I thought the keywords would fly, but it's true. They don't fly. They just... <laughs> Look, they're fighting now. Stop fighting. Okay. So that is the origin <laughs> of Kiwi. You're the birthday present. Hey, feliz cumpleaños. Happy birthday tomorrow. Uh, today for you. I'm 50. Really? Don't be but depressed about that. I'm, I'm almost there too. I know I don't look like it. Uh, yeah, but I am almost 50 too. <laughs> and people are like, what? Really? It's true. Next year. Next year I'll be 50. <gasps> yeah, um, what else we got there? Um, you made me feel better. That's good. Hi from Gabon. It's the center of Africa. I know where it is. Ha! I know lots of random places all around the world, you ask me, and usually I know. Oh, I've gone and lost my... Ah, here it is. So much in the... I read everything in the chat. Don't. It won't be immediately, but I will read it. Hey, hey, Dima. I don't worry about my ignorance about where New Zealand is because I'm completely sure you don't know where Lugo is. I know where Lugo is. I've been I've been to Japan. Just kidding. <laughs> I've I've been to I've been around Spain and Portugal and everywhere and France. I've been all around the place. But exactly where no. I know I've been to mostly the south of Spain, not the northern part. I didn't go up to 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 Gal was it Galicia. Um, empate. Ah, empate is a tie. To say empate, I should remove that picture because it's it's scary. People will arrive to this video and they're like, what is that demonic creature? So I will remove. Okay, sorry, Kiwi Bird. Now, um, a tie. Empate is like when it's like 0-0 zero, zero, or 1-1 one, one, or 2-2. Two, two. In a score, when the result is the same. Like a football game, 2-2. Two, two. It is a tie, which is the same spelling as the tie that you wear. Or another way, there are two ways. You can say a tie or a draw. It's a draw. It depends on the situation and things like that. So now you know what is empate is in English. That's, yeah, English. I'm here for the first time, Dima. What's going on? We're just relaxing, chilling, having a conversation, talking about family traditions. I'm an English teacher in Mexico. I always share your content. Thank you. That's I love that. Zaira um, Herrera. Also, Zaira Herrera. Um, that's what I want. I, I want people to, uh, that's why I create the videos and charts so that they can be used to help other teachers with their lessons. And it's like so cool hearing that. Thank you. From Kurdistan. Hi. Okay. Wagner. Hello, Wagner. Hi from Belarus. Okay. Thank you very much for that correction about acidic and sour. Always learning something. Don't worry. I'm, I'm always learning about English too. I mean, it's my native language. I've been speaking it for almost 50 years, and I've been teaching for 25 years, but there's always something to learn, always, so don't worry. Interesting class, <laughs> sometimes. Okay, in Italy, two kisses are enough when you meet people. Ah, oh, what, 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 what would happen if you give five kisses? Oh. <laughs> Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, but its dates changes. Ramadan is the first month of fasting for the f uh, the Muslims. Fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam. Exactly. So that's what we talked about before about fasting. It's I remember. That's why I remembered fasting is from the Ramadan. Also, you like kiwi, the bird or the fruit? Is it the bird or the fruit? Mm -mm. <laughs> You're not allowed to eat the birds. To sunset. Nice face when you're referring to sour. Oh, I got lots of faces. I, yeah, I, got, <laughs> I guess you don't do that face when you're drinking Pisco Sour. <laughs> it's different. Pisco Sour is different. Sometimes I do. If it's got lots of lemon, I'm like, great to have you here, Jorge. Yeah, the Pisco Sour, and it's like... Oh... <laughs> English slam. The dodo has come back. What? Are you talking about my picture? Yes, that's a dodo. Yeah. <laughs> your speaking is funny, but your drawing is funnier. You haven't seen anything yet. My drawings get terrible. I'm actually behind. I loved your kiwi. It's real hard to draw on the whiteboard. On the whiteboard, I have no problem. 
This device that I have here, I draw here, but I'm looking here. It's hard to draw like that. I've got a, a Wacom tablet something something. Vivi says it's cute. I thought kiwi's a kind of fruit. It is. That is. Kiwi is the type of fruit. The name comes from New Zealand, the kiwi fruit. Here in New Zealand, we call it kiwi fruit, so we don't confuse it with the bird. Yeah. In Belarus, we have a good tradition. Ooh, on the first Saturday of February, we meet with our school schoolmates. It's called the start of school. No, it's not the start of school. You probably start in the middle of the year. <laughs> okay, that's cool. But what about with the family? Family traditions. Um, oops, where is it? I keep losing the track. Ah, here it is. Uh, I re oh, uh, here it is. I thought you were talking about the fruit. Yeah, it's that you learned something today. I, I, whoops, I, oh, thank you, Amar. I recommend my students to watch. That's great. Thank you. So, uh, what do you mean? Greetings from Colombia. Saludos. Elaine's here. Hello. Hi, I'm French. I was, yeah, I, I was waiting for you. I was hoping you would drop by to clarify that. I'm French. It's normally two kisses, but it depends on where you are. In the south of France, it's three kisses. That's cool. And Tomek says, it's customary to give three kisses on a chin when you're greeting someone or on the cheek. You're thinking about the cheek, maybe. This is your chin. This is your cheek. You also got cheeks here, too. Those are cheeks. But I'm assuming you're talking about these cheeks. When you're greeting someone who is close to you here in the in the Netherlands. I got a friend in the Netherlands. Sometimes people just do air kisses like mwah, mwah. It's like ah No, you gotta do the proper kissing. Super interesting to listen one teacher like you. Your stream is very good. Thumb up. Thank you. Hello from Germany. Um oops. Oh 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 Okay, I just the chat just went crazy on me. Uh, what is fasten? Ooh, that's a good one. Wow. Okay, to fasten, I'll put it over here. Okay, this is another one. To fasten. Wow, this is good. These are good questions. So we talked about to fast, which means not to you know to not eat during a certain period of time. To fasten is to connect to, okay, let's imagine a button. You have your shirt that is open, and then you fasten the button so it's connected. So it's like the button with the hole, you fasten it. It's like join it together. It's like to join two things, like two things together, normally button. Can you think of anything else? Okay, someone's coming. Let's just do that. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to put someone on timeout because just spanning the chat. There it is. Okay, so New Zealand is famous about the Lord of the Rings. Exactly. So it's... A lot of movies are actually made here in New Zealand. A lot. They're currently making um, Avatar number two. Avatar number two. Three, four, five. Like five Avatar movies. A lot of movies. Like... The Last Samurai. The Last Samurai, you know, Tom Cruise. And the Samurais in Japan. That was actually done in New Zealand. <laughs> okay. Um, you've got lots of movies done here. Many, many, many. Uh, what else we got there? Uh, hello. Oops. And getting rid of this. Do you eat kiwi? I refer to the animal. No, we do not eat the kiwi at all. The bird. It's, it's a protected animal. They're too chewy. I mean, no, sorry. <laughs> we don't eat kiwis because they're a, a protected. The national bird, you don't eat the... Like in the United States, do they eat the eagle? Or in Chile, do you eat the condor? You don't. Okay, and... I'm, re oops, I've, I'm really happy to be here. Oh, this is Elaine. Uh, Woodward English is fantastic. Thanks a lot. The way you handle with the English language contents is perfect. You're excellent. Thank you, Elaine. Please say my name. Tom. Ah. <sighs> okay. Um, don't worry. I've got rid of that person that just spamming. And uh, just, sat on, <laughs> just sat on the phone, probably. <laughs> In Morocco, we kiss aged people on the hand. Okay, that's interesting. 
In Spain, we give two kisses. Now with COVID, we elbow touches. Yeah, you do that. You fasten a seatbelt. Very good one. Because you're connecting one part. Tomic, you're, you're awesome. You connect it. You fasten a seatbelt too. That's another good one. Um, what else we got? I'm looking forward to listening to a flight attendant and telling me, please keep your seatbelt fastened. That's another good one. That's another good one. Hi from Brazil. This year is very snowy, so my younger brother always cleans outside. Can we think that this is the family tradition? <laughs> so it's always your younger brother? Does he do it by himself? If he does it by himself, it's not a family tradition. Unless the family's watching through the window like, ah, look, he has to... <laughs> that could be a family tradition if you're all laughing at the little brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible family tradition. So family tradition is when you together do the same activity together. Um, I got Wanderson from Brazil. This year, oh, okay. Um, traditions here, January, the three wise men. February, carnival. March, Father's Day. Father's Day is in different times of year in different countries. Interesting. In April, Easter, working day. So we've got Nicolas. You're from Ecuador. And we've got Jane. Okay, so let's go. I've got some more questions for you, continuing with this. So family traditions are activities or experiences that the family does together. On a regular basis, I'm reading the website if you want to read with me, or during certain occasions. What I'm doing right now, just looking at, I'll copy it here. There we go. So I'm actually looking at this part here. Now these family traditions, they can be frequent traditions every day or every week or not so frequent traditions like once a year. It may involve celebrating New Year's Eve the same way every year. That's one example. Ah, I forgot June. Oh, you got, oh, you got lots of celebrations there. Octopus, what's the octopus celebration? Are you talking about country celebrations there? Okay, so for example, celebrating ce uh, special occasions. Anyone here with the anniversaries? The anniversaries, any family anniversary celebrations that you have? Because sometimes, normally with an anniversary, you have the couple, you know, they're, they're, they're the couple, they sometimes have a romantic dinner or they go somewhere or they travel or they have a, a time together. But some families, what they do as a family tradition is for the anniversary, they get together and they celebrate. the fam Like it is their 20th wedding anniversary. So the family comes together and like, yes, thank you for being together. And they celebrate. That's one. I'm really bad on tradition stuff from my country, but we do Christmas Eve and Happy New Year as well. New Year's Eve. You got Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Aha, that's a good one. We do have many kinds of food such as turkey, uh, chicken. There's also ah, the casa leaves and meat. That's good. So you've anyone here celebrate birthdays in different ways? A family tradition. Oh, Jorge's got a good one. A family tradition is when it's raining, we eat a type of fried dough called sopaipilla. Sopaipilla pasa. <laughs> you make those. That, that's your family tradition when it's raining. Does it rain much where you live? So you make sopaipillas. Do you all make it together or does one person make it and you eat it together? That's interesting. Oh, Basketball says we give red envelopes on New Year's. Woo, I've heard of that. It's for the Chinese New Year. That's soon, isn't it? Chinese New Year is it's like February, January, end of January, February sometime from memory. And I remember that. You give a red envelope on New Year's and it usually has money in it. You usually have money in it. Unfortunately... I never received one. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> we have a special time in the first day of spring. We celebrate and usually people go out for picnics together. That's cool. All go picnic. Octopus is the typical food here in October. 
Really? Fascinating. You're from Lugo? That's in, that's in Galicia, isn't it? From memory. Okay, so octopus. So you have octopus. Yeah, o October octopus. I can see the connection here. Are you talking about chicken? Yeah, I knew you were talking about chicken. Sometimes the, the, the autocorrect does that. Johnny says, in Colombia on December the 7th, we have to light candles and lamps. To celebrate Christmas time's arrival. Cool. Oh, what's the name of that in Spanish? I, I remember that. When I see it written, ah, oh, de la luz, fiesta de la luz. Oh, I can't remember what it is. But you light candles on the seventh. That's cool. The, the, the light festival. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. I learned to, you're learning many a lot of vocabulary. That's good. That's the objective. Learn vocabulary and practice the language. Um, yes, it is money in a red envelope. I know because <gasps> I didn't receive one either. I'm, st I'm waiting for this year. Maybe this year I will receive a red envelope from someone that is listening. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Dia de las velitas. That's right. That's what I was trying to remember. It's like, ah. Oh, hey, I just want to check something. I just want to test something here. Ah, cool. It works. I was just testing something. <clears throat> okay. In October, we have octopus. We boil it, and then boil potatoes, then pour salt, olive oil, and pepper. Spicy. <sighs> Ooh, interesting. That sounds like an interesting one. Okay, birthday celebrations, traditions. In your family, when someone has a birthday celebration, what is the tradition in your family? You ignore the person? <laughs> or what do you do? When someone celebrates a birthday, for example, do you have a birthday cake? It, that could be a tradition. That's a tradition. Or does everyone enter your room in the morning, <clears throat> excuse me, and sing happy birthday? The person is only asleep. The person is asleep and you go in there in the morning, happy birthday. And the person's like, you woke me up for this. <laughs> only children get it. I'm 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 young. It's just only for children. Damn. But okay. What about with that red envelope with the money in? It's only for children. My parents, maybe my father can give me the envelope cuz I'm his child. It's a loophole. I'm looking for a loophole. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, Lugo is in Galicia. Our slogan is, if you want to eat, come to Lugo. <gasps> I am going to have to go to Lugo. Definitely. I, I will. If you want to eat, I love to eat. I love to experiment. I will go to Lugo. I'll go there with the, I'll take the family to Lugo and we'll go eat until we start rolling back to New Zealand. We'll roll back to New Zealand. Is something famous for our beach or the cathedrals? Ah, the, yeah, I can, I can see. I mean, red envelope only give to people who are not married yet. Ugh. No, I am married. Yes. Oh, well. I gave my dad a cake with an Elvis picture on it. <laughs> he really enjoyed it. That's cool. So, okay, so you gave him a birthday cake with that. No envelope. <laughs> Once you're married. Oh, phew. Okay, what other ones we got here? So we've talked about some of the religious celebrations already. Okay, I've got some other celebrations, which are traditions for any time. Hang on, I'll read this one. Birthday party is usually like a surprise here. People make a party for your friends and family. And they hide behind the, 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 the sofa and the armchair. And when the person enters the door, it's like, surprise! And they're like, oh, I didn't know. They knew, but I didn't know. So you have the surprise ones. Cool. In Lugo, we also have a Roman wall. <gasps> Ooh, old, I love Roman. Oh, I love learning about history and things. And you can walk on it, and it's free. That's cool. Domek, my in-laws threw a party a few years ago celebrating their 25th anniversary. Ah, nice. They invited family and friends and co-workers. 
There's a buffet serving food such as chicken wings, ribs, and salads. Okay, that's cool. So like with the important ones, like the 20th and the 25th anniversary, I think sometimes they get their family together. So that that's another way. Bullito. In Mexico, it is a tradition to push the face of the birthday person after he blows the candles. And then you get the candle in the eye like this. Ah. No, you don't. Because normally the candles are in the middle. That tradition is not just in Mexico. I know it happens in Chile too. I know it happens in Chile. They, they say happy birthday to you and all of that. And then they push the face into the cake. And then it's like, ah. Ma Mario says, can you speak Spanish? Yeah. About the traditions in my family. I've been talking a little about traditions in the family. My family. Yes, I can speak Spanish. But we are here to speak English. In my family, we still give money to our children to celebrate the new year. That's nice. For birthdays, just, uh, besides a birthday present, we usually give some money too. It's like, yes, and they can go spend the money on Fortnite. Oh, no. <laughs> spend it on other things. Just an envelope with some money. Ah. Or you can put an IOU. I owe you money. Um, Hossein says, have you ever visited Morocco? I am from a travel agency in Marrakesh. A lot of New Zealanders travel with us. They're very nice and, ser and serious. Yeah, New Zealanders are sometimes serious. They're relaxed. They're relaxed. Uh, you're probably talking about old people. Old people are serious. Yes, I have been to Morocco. I was only in Morocco for one day. That was up in, it was only in Tangier. Um, push the face. Do you mean push his face or push... Her face into the cake. Yeah, it's like, okay, this is the cake. Happy birthday to you. You push the person. If the person that blows the candle, like this, and then suddenly their face goes into it. Regards from Barranca School, a school of English in Peru. Our students watch your videos. That's nice. About traditions, the one in which we throw rice. When a couple gets married and leaves the churches... That's a good tradition. It's not necessarily a family tradition, but it's a, it's a it's a good tradition. Hmm? Yeah, it is it is a bit of a <laughs> it is a bit of a <laughs> pushing the face into the cake can be dangerous, especially if you get a candle in the eye. <laughs> Um, so yes, that's another true. That's not a family, or it could be a family one. When someone gets married, they come out of the church and you throw rice. Make sure all the rice is not in the bag. <laughs> Just throw one kilo of rice. And it hits the... And they fall down the stairs. It's not good. Just don't do that way. Make sure the rice is not in the bag. Just get little bits of rice and throw it at the wedding. <laughs> Hello, Lauda. How's it going? My favorite family tradition is Easter. <gasps> When I find chocolate eggs in my garden with my son. That's cool, Len. Yes, that's what... We used to have this tradition, too. A long time ago. No, also recently. Where it's just for the whole family, not just for the children. The whole family. You get little chocolate eggs or big eggs or a mixture of eggs and you hide them in the garden or in the house. And sometimes it's... Like in September, October, it's like, oh, look, I found an Easter egg. <laughs> that you forget about, like, six months later, you find an egg. <laughs> if you put them in the garden, the ants, all of the creatures and insects, they eat the egg. But if they're in your house, it doesn't happen. That's a very good tradition. I Hopefully, I'll remember it and I'll add it to my page, Lynn. Um, how can I contact this next week? Just follow the... What is it? The The... Subscribe to the channel. Click the. That's the typical the thing they say on YouTube. Sub subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. <sighs> Something like that. I'm not a YouTuber, so I, I don't. I can't say those things. I, I don't know how to say it correctly with a funny face. My face is funny, but yeah. So you subscribe. Click the notification bell. Also, just on social media. On the social media, I I. I let people know in advance. But yeah, that's probably the best way. I'm old for this technology. You're not old. And if I close it, I can open it again. So please explain. Yeah, so just 
Yeah, just connect to Woodward English. Put that, there's a little button that says subscribe. Click that and the notification. You'll be okay. What a waste of good cake. Yes, it is, Seamus. It can be like a... Um, uh, it can be a bit of a waste. That's why sometimes people have two cakes. Or sometimes they just do a little bit, and you, that little bit of the cake, you cut it and you don't eat it. We always to get together at our outside, in the garage, so on to prepare our garden for winter. S uh, sweep leaves and cut the grass. Yeah, we're cautious. Pay attention to you and right at the same time is too much for me. <laughs> I just love to celebrate my birthdays with a big party. Some of them wearing special costumes or, yes, a fancy dress party. Indicated in the invitation. I love fancy dress parties. I love getting dressed up. I love wearing fancy dress. I like those parties, celebrations. The most funny is the, 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 Bre the Bregas one. I don't know what that one is, though. Um, birthday celebration is not with special tradition. It is. I mean, some families have a special tradition that they do. For example, in the morning, you go in there. That's, that could be my family, but not another family. So in a way, it's like a family tradition. Uh, um, I need, uh, it was such a long time since I've listened to English. Well, actually, after you blow the candles, you get rid of the candles. Uh, okay, everyone, we're still talking about this. Bite, bite, bite. And then you're close enough, they push your face in. <laughs> Another family tradition is having a picnic at the weekend, which is not possible oh, due to the pandemic. Unfo it is a tradition in our family to go outside <laughs> when there's a big earthquake. <laughs> oh, it depends on the level of the earthquake. It's like, oh, it's it's only a 6.0. It's not fast enough to run outside. That's the family tradition. Earthquake, run outside. <laughs> That's a good one. Hi, Ellen. <clears throat> I like Easter too. I raise the eggs in the garden at the end of the day. That's good. Are oh, you like, you have them on a spoon, egg race? I had a lot of eggs in front of me on the table. It was the Easter winter. Ah, As you can see, read... I'm very active and I'm new with this. Yeah, that's good. Use it. Is it possible to open a live debate for us to, pre to prepare on a speech with you next time? This is what this opportunity is. Because I gave this topic about three, four days ago. And then yesterday I put a link to my page just to help you with the topic. And then... You can, <clears throat> and then you can prepare so you can talk about it. Eventually, we will have the debate topics later. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. So we can have the debate topics later. Yeah, that, that's funny, Jorge. <laughs> I can imagine it. Um, yeah, so that is going to happen. Hossein, I let people know in advance. Maria, I'm from Mexico and our families never wasted a cake pushing anyone's face into it. We thought it was gross. That's a good thing too, Maria. You don't want to waste the cake. Some people do it. Hi, I'm from Nicaragua. My family favorite, uh, my favorite family tradition, that was my mistake, is eating almibar. In summer is very delicious. Explain almibar. What exactly is that? Some people do not know. Um, I have a baby cat. I was thinking about a name. He's going to be Rob. No. If, if you call your cat Rob, it's going to eat everything in your house. It's going to make a mess. It's going to be a disaster. And you're going to think, no, why? If you give it the name Rob, that's what's going to happen. Because that's, that's, that's me. Call it Woody. Woody. Woody's good. <laughs> Woody, call it Woody. Okay, um, Elaine. An activity you should search for. What to wear if you're invited to a Bregas party. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm not going to do it on stream. Okay. I, do I really want to do this? Uh, do I want to look at the images? Okay, so they're just getting... Oh, no, okay. I can't, I can't find everything. No, I'll look at that one later. Couldn't find it. 
Um, thank you very much for being so funny and cheerful in the chat. Blessings your way and keep safe. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Can you write that name? What name? Oh, Woody. Here it is. Whoops. Woody. There you go. Just a random name. <laughs> what else we got? Ooh. <clears throat> Any traditions? Okay, another one. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that. That's the correct... That is the pronoun. Oh, call it Kiwi. Call the bird Kiwi. That's a good name. Call it Kiwi. A bird called Kiwi. Yeah, so that's Woody. <laughs> call your cat Kiwi. Here, yeah, Kiwi. That's a funny one. <laughs> the thing is, Kiwis, they are awake only at night. In the day, they sleep. That's me. No. <laughs> so the Kiwi. Yeah, so you can call it Kiwi too. That's another good name. Let me know what you choose later. Hi, Tulio. Hi, hello from Venezuela. Another family tradition. Okay, look at this one here. I'm going to write this one in the chat. This is an interesting one. This one. Woody would be appropriate if the cat does start scratching the wooden furniture. Totally. <laughs> I'd like to know how can we support Woodward English. There are different ways you can support Woodward English. Being here in the chat is one way of supporting. Subscribing and coming and putting the like button, all of those things are way great ways of supporting. There's what you've also what there's a what do you call it? A Woodward members thing? There's a join button. And and under the videos sometimes there's a join button. And then what I do is I create private English interaction chats with the members every every week and you can join that by clicking the join button that's another way to support but one of the best ways of supporting is letting other people know about woodward english that's the best way that helps me a lot and that's something i appreciate i think kiwi is nice for a cat that's quite cool i have three new babies two females and a baby there you go kiwi is one call one of them kiwi <laughs> don't call it rob that's a terrible name for a cat Especially, yeah, no, don't. Hi from um, Guatemala. We have a beautiful tradition, Day of the Dead. Ooh, we've talked about that one. And we have huge kites. <gasps> we call them bar bariletes. Okay, so they're huge, big kites. That's interesting. Here it is a tradition to put names to pets. Oh, like real names. Wow, okay, you call it Kiwi. Woody and choose anything out. You want to call it Rob if you want, but you'll be like, why did I call it Rob? That's a terrible name. <laughs> um, I'm from Morocco. I have a small family. Okay. Almibar. Almibar. Ah, put the accent there now. Almibar is water boiled with sugar until it is similar to ham. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. I know what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, I, I, did I type something in the chat just now? No, I didn't. I didn't do this. Uh, happy, oops, I spelled it incorrectly. Here it is. A happiness jar. Do you know what a happiness jar is? This is an interesting family tradition some people have. I'm from Mexico, and Dia de los Muertos is an important day, not only in my family, but in the world. It is. Daniela, that's a really important one. I wonder if I can find Almirar in Italy. You must be able to. Okay, what I just typed, I'll put it here. Okay, let's just get rid of that one there. To draw. And what is this one? I'll put it here. A, I'll put it on the screen so everyone can read it. A happiness jar. You know what a jar is? Like It's like a glass jar it's a glass thing and you can open the top you store things and that's a jar you can have a jar of honey a jar of marmalade a jar of jam a jar full of eyeballs now you can have a jar full of many things but this is called a happiness jar what is the objective you can start this as a family tradition it could be interesting i think we could start doing this too in my family a happiness jar is this each person writes down the happiest moment from their day from their day or their week 
you write down a happy moment from your day or your week and you put it in the jar. On, you write it on a piece of paper, not on your hand. On a piece of pa paper, you put it in the jar. And then, eventually, these happy moments can be shared at the dinner table or some other occasion. And once a week or maybe once a month or maybe at the end of the year or some moments or other moments when you're relaxing, you can just like pick one out and you can read it. It's like, oh, this happy moment was when I passed my driver's license or I passed my exam. And then you remember those moments. So this is an interesting thing you can do, having a happiness jar, putting those pieces of paper with the happy moments, and then you read them and you remember. Because many people, you just forget. And then when you read about these happy moments, it's actually a nice thing to have. Okay, so what else? Um, when I say honey, I refer to a eh, special, like, yeah. I've just subscribed. Thank you, Tulio. I'm from Mexico. Um, you can make um, almibar at home. You, you don't have to buy it. You need to look for the recipe online. My favorite is pasta. I am from Algeria. And you, where are you from, sir? I am from New Zealand. I'm from my mother. Ha, no, I'm from New Zealand. It's a combination of fruits with sugar and honey. <gasps> we always talk about food. You know me. In Guatemala, on the Day of the Dead, the tradition is to fly huge kites. It's to ward off evil spirits. Okay. We only want to receive our ancestors' spirits. Let's get rid of the evil ones. Whiskey in a jar. Yes, you know that song. Do you like the Metallica version or the other version? Ha, anyway. Hey, thanks. Greetings from Bogotá in Colombia. If you go live every weekend, it could become a family tradition to watch. Exactly. If you want to go crazy, <laughs> watch this. Watch me doing these live events every weekend. <laughs> exactly. You can make it a family tradition. And you're sitting there learning and the kids are like, do we have to be here? Do we have to be here? Can we go? Can we go? I don't want to be here. <laughs> That's what would happen. Um, <laughs> Paisana. Ah, yes. You're both from Colombia. That's what they say to each other. You're from Saudi Arabia. Thank you for your conversation. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's a new thing to know. Uh, good idea. Yeah, so this here, this happiness jar is a great idea. <clears throat> okay. And so we got... Uh, so we got... Blah, blah. Losing all of the things. Ah, yeah, so from Ethiopia, from Colombia. See, I love the happiness jar. Definitely I'll do it. It's a cool thing, this. I, I, I learned about it last week. It's something that we have not done in our family. But I'm like investigating. What things can you do? And just one thing someone mentioned was the happiness jar. And I thought, that is a cool thing. <laughs> this goes sour in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be that would get very messy. I think that would, but I would I would, I accept the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> uh, what else we got? I am from Brazil. I am from my mother. <laughs> my brother's favorite line. Thanks a lot for this, Rob, and the rest of the people who participated. I must go now, but I will be back next Friday. That's great. I hope you can come here. My best wishes to everyone. This was a great discovery. Better than Columbus. <laughs> Everything's better than Columbus's discovery. Good night. Thanks for the chat. It was very interesting. See you soon. Ethiopian food. Ah, injera. Interesting. <gasps> Tell me what it is. I like to learn. The original version of Whiskey in a Jar by Thin Lizzy. You had Phil Leonard. Was it in, was Gary Moore in that one too? I like both of them, but I must admit the Metallica did a great cover. They did. Nice voice. Do I really have a nice voice? I don't know. I just have a voice. So this is one thing. The happiness jar is one family tradition you can create. Another one. What's another family tradition? I've got these on that on my website if you want to read with me. <clears throat> One second, I need some more coffee. It's cold now, but I don't care. Um, going for a walk with the family. 
Do any of you walk with the family? Thank you very much. Okay, see you later. Prado. Christian. Christian Prado, I'm assuming. I'm staying. I'm continuing the conversation. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here for another half an hour, I think. Another one. Does anyone have a, like a walk in the family? Anyone walk with the family members and just talk? That's something I like doing. And where is it? Just going for walks with the wife or anyone with a family and just like just talking. And that's nice, just talking. So you go, you know, you can go for a walk with the family. And you talk about different things. Away from the cell phone, away from technology. This I love I love going on walks. It can be once a day, once a week, just every certain amount of time. If you live in the middle of a big city, it can be a bit <laughs> like not very relaxing, but try and do it outside of the city or where there is nature or near the beach or near or near something, something like that. That's you're welcome, Christian. Uh, this is my first time, only Friday English class with you. Yes. I usually do it at the same time, same time, same hour, same channel, same day, usually. But sometimes I do it late my time so that I can so that can people from other countries can visit like from India, Asia, Japan, China. I do that at midnight my time. But usually at this time, this is when I can. I go out walk with my husband and lot. We both love it. I know it's a cool thing to do. We just love walking and just talking about whatever. It's a fun thing to do. Mepalia. <laughs> you uh, keep us healthy. Yeah, it keeps you healthier, healthy and fit also. I used to walk with my family. Actually, we did picnics too. Every Sunday we had it. A good way to do exercise. Yeah, just go for a walk and have... The picnic at the end is a quite a good idea, pollito. I like that one. You go for a walk and then you have the picnic. Yeah. That, that sounds like a good thing to do. My fam... Daniela says... My family celebrate Mexico's independence from Spain. Ah! I thought you... Th for a moment I thought you were in Spain celebrating it. I'm like, why? Ah, no. Independence Day. It's Independence Day. A lot of the countries there celebrate that. Oh, that's a good one. How do you celebrate it, Daniela? How, what, what do you, what does your family do? Does your family do something different from other families? Family, everything is much better when we're all together, except for when you want to go to the toilet. <laughs> can you talk, uh, can you walk the walk or only talk the talk? I can only do one thing, uh, you know, as a, as a man, I can only do one thing at a time. When I'm chewing gum, i got to stop to chew, then I walk. You know, you know how we are. <laughs> UK weather, not so good. Uh, raining all the time. Yes, it does rain a lot there. Okay, so another one. This is another option. So Christmas Eve, I'll put you down here. For the happiness jar, a walk with the family. Christmas Eve is not the one, but I'm going to type this one. What have I got next? Has anyone done, done this one? Read a book together. This is something I plan to do this year. Okay, now normally, okay, no, not normally. Sometimes every family is different, but for me, I'll just say normally. Okay, sometimes you have the, 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 the parents, the mother, the father, or both. Sometimes they read a book to their s child, son or daughter, which is a, that's a, could be a family tradition. That's a nice thing to do. But how about this? How about if, even when they're not children, but just reading a book together, all of like if one person reads, you know, maybe a chapter or one person reads the entire book, you like, you read the book and you're sitting around, no technology, no technology, just reading a book. One person reads it loud, aloud. So the other people are like listening and you can talk about that. It's like, oh, what do you think is going to happen? You know, do you think... The Queen of Dragons is going to go crazy? Or do you think <laughs> you can <laughs> Okay, there are certain books you can use as a family. But yeah, you can that could be an interesting way. Um <laughs> Tomek is a clever cookie, he is. Or she is. They are. I didn't mean it in the toilet. I know, I know. 
Yes, I do read a book with my husband. Then we talk together. That's cool. That's something that we like in the past. I've read books to to to, to our children, but this one I want to do it like all together. Like one of my favorite books, I want to share my favorite book of all times with them, so that we can just talk about and they'll know a lot of things about me and what I like. I wish you a good night, guys. It's almost midnight. -y. I know it's very late for many of you. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, because like I know some of you, it's very late, very late in your countries. Mm. Anna teaches you English. That's that's a good, that's a good thing. So that one, so sometimes you can read. One person can read a chapter, or you can all read parts of it. And of course, this can lead or take you to great conversations. Has anyone done that at all? Nowadays, my son is far away. Oh, he studies in North Dakota, and we're in Brazil. And when you do want to talk, you want to just talk online. Yeah. So if you're together as a family, you can do that. Or maybe with whoever's in your house, you can do that. So that's another one. Some people do the family Bible study. I've heard people do that too. Yes, my husband teaches you English. That's great. Another one. Another one. I'm going to put this. And some people will think, that's crazy. But I'm going to put it anyway. I'm going to write this. You don't, what am I going to write? It's going to be, eat dinner together. That, that, this is actually a good family tradition. It sounds obvious, but you'll be surprised. Nowadays, there are many families that they do not eat dinner together. The, 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 the mother's busy, the father's busy, you know, the, they're busy at work, or the kids, or some people eat in different rooms. Or they eat in front of the television. One's in front of the television, one's over there, one's over there. It's like, <gasps> be together. It's only like once a day that you can do that. I think that's a good thing to do. We never read a book, but we did watch Stranger Things on Netflix together. Nice TV. Yes, I mean, some people they actually do that too. They watch it as a family. Because some people watch Netflix individually, but doing it together, that's great. That is, that's, that's like a, a modern version of the book. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually include that. I'll, I'll add that to my list. I don't have my list here. I've got to remember to add that to my list. There's something else I needed to add to the list and I've already forgotten. Anyway, when we were children, my father used to organize family readings. Ah, <gasps> that's nice. We read aloud and we turn parts, take turns and parts of it. It was the best for us to learn to read. That's great, Raquel. That's a great thing. You are very fortunate to have that. Unfortunately, we can't read books in my family. My parents are illiterate. Well, that's the good thing. Because if you can read books, you just need one person that can read. So if you read them with your family, that's perfect. Because if they cannot read the book, you're reading it and then they're Wow, another universe, another idea, a whole new thing. That's a great thing. So that's a thing that you could do. You could read it. It doesn't need to be everyone reading. It can be just one person. Or you can watch Netflix together. <laughs> um, okay, so Basketball says, Me and my husband always eat dinner together. That's great. Sure, I love eating dinner all together. That's good. I like to see this. Actually... It dawned on me that I used to do it with my wife. I mean, <laughs> I mean, reading a book out loud in turns. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's that's it. It is. Hey, Villarreal. Or they're with their cell phones in their hands. Oh, that is the worst thing ever. Never have cell phones at the table. Never. Laptops. Okay, no. <laughs> Just don't have cell phones at the table at dinner. Some, and they're like eating and they're just... In, no, it's the time for you to be able to talk, communicate, share things. A Christmas tradition my family is... Oh, the secret friend! I know about the secret friend. <clears throat> it is a gift exchange. Nobody else knows who's going to receive from me until that day. And I don't know who's going to give me as well. Now that secret friend, sometimes it's called secret Santa. 
Here in New Zealand, it's called Secret Santa. Because it's not always a friend. Because some people do this at work. With their workmates, they do have a secret Santa. Because, yeah, the person at my work is not my friend. Sometimes they are. So it's called Secret Santa. Or sometimes what some families do at Christmas, instead of buying a present for this person, 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 you do Secret Santa and you buy one present for one person. So you don't have excessive amount of crap stuff, things. You just have one present and that and it's like a it's like environmentally a good idea. <laughs> um only me and him. His parents passed away too far from me, so only two of us have dinner. That's perfect, though. That's fine. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for that. It's a good job. We play cards. Clayton says we play cards. Oh. What games do you play? Poker. I want $1,000 from you. No, just kidding. <laughs> just playing different cards game. Magic or just normal playing cards? But that's a good thing, playing cards. It's the opportunity. It doesn't matter what activity. It could be a book, could be playing cards. Opportunity to talk, connect with the family. And these are the things that children remember when they grow up. That's why I don't have any remember memories from when I was a child. Because we didn't do this. <laughs> um, it's a tradition for my husband and I. Not to have Netflix. We still rent movies. Wow. From the last video rent place standing in the city. Wow. Okay. Okay. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta applaud you there. Yeah. That's. That's impressive. That's really impressive. <laughs> you still rent movies. Are they VHS? DVDs or <laughs> Blu-ray <laughs> or big rolls of video. <laughs> That's interesting, Raquel. That's interesting. In our culture, coffee time. Okay. So it's like coffee time with the family. So you all sit and have coffee and you talk with each other. That sounds good. That's in Ethiopia. A game invented by us. Ah, you invented a game. Ah, sounds good. Uh, another one is we talk about our day every night. <gasps> how was your day? That's a good thing to do so that you know how was your day, what they were doing, if they had any problems or things like that. Uh, talking about movie nights, um, Raquel, that's another thing that I have on my list of of family traditions. It could be you can rent a movie <laughs> or you can have Netflix or any other thing. It is... Um, what is it? Movie night. I love these. Movie night. Have a movie night. That is where you all watch a movie together. You do not need to go to a cinema or a movie theater to do it. You can. Or well, some people can't at the moment because of COVID. But if you, you can have a movie night, you can go to the movies. Or a great way is just doing it at home. You're in the comfort of your home. If you, if you have comfortable seats, <laughs> you're in the comfort of your home and you just have the movie there and you can eat what you want. You can pause the movie too and you can talk if you want. But normally yeah, you can pause. Some people do. Some people don't. Or you can just do, yeah, you can do all of those types of things. Uh, playing a strip poker with a family might get awkward. Totally. <laughs> it does. It does. You don't, you don't want to do that with a family. Tea time or brunch time with the family. Ah, have a cup of tea. I ah, like the, in in some kind, like in, in Chile it's called, what was it, once something like that. Have like a cup of tea and you talk and everything like that. Those are cool. Anyone do movie nights? Anyone here, do they do movie nights with the family? Who does a movie night? We do movie nights, my family. Not often. But we do it when we can. Cause, and they're cool. Create a WhatsApp group for you so we can chat. I won't create a WhatsApp group because I prefer to use my time more productively creating videos. Doing this or creating videos or charts. If you've got the WhatsApp group, it's like too much distraction and it consumes your time. That's why I don't do it. Yeah. So who has a movie night? Let me know in the chat who does the movie night. 
I know some of you have already said it. Seven days a week you have a movie night. <laughs> yeah. We watch movies all the time. That's good. All together. Million thanks for you live, sir. It's late in my country. Thank you, Hossein, for coming along. I'm going to bed. I know it's like midnight or one o'clock in the morning now. Until next Friday. Games next Friday. Next time. Games. I do. It's on Saturday nights with my sisters. Oh, that's cool. That's great. Do you go to the cinema or do you do it at home? You can have things at home. You can eat, make your own pizza beforehand. and you can. Oh, so that's great, Boyito. I like that. So it's Saturday nights with your sisters. That's cool. You can make your own popcorn, turn all the lights out, and, and enjoy the show. What else we got there? Yes, yes, creating videos. In my case, studying English. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I, yeah. It's a lot better than Watson. Sometimes I like to talk about our work. Good news. And our next objectives with my family and my friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you can do when you're just sitting there at the table. i got to call it a day. Thanks for today. I look forward to a quiz game. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it when you come along, Tomek. It, and all of the things that you add to the conversation. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you around, hopefully, next week. I'll be here next week. Hopefully, you can join in. It'll be games. Yes. Those, those, the words on stream and everything like that. Got those fun games. I'm going to be here for another, probably another 10 minutes or so. So, what, any other one, anyone else have? Movie nights are fantastic. Sweet. Any other family traditions that you would like to share? Any other one? During quarantine, we developed the tradition of painting and fixing stuff in the house with house with your parents. Painting, nice. That's good. Did you? Has anyone else started any new traditions during quarantine? We've actually started a tradition. It was like we. We're talking with, like, on certain day of the week, every certain day of the week at a certain time, we have a Zoom meeting with friends in other countries. Because we, are, we live in different countries, but we always do it at the same time, the same hour. We get together, we talk, we drink, we eat, and then we eat some more, and then we eat even more, and we talk, and we laugh. And that's a, a tradition that I, that, I, that I love doing. And that's every weekend. We every weekend we do that. Do any of you have other traditions that you would like to share? Now I want to see if I can change something. Right, I'm gonna leave it like that for today. So it has been fun talking i love talking to everyone and saying hello to everyone and everything like that it's always so much fun remember um if you want to help out with the woodward english just remember to subscribe there's also a join button for those that like to have more interaction with me and everything like that um yes this here appears on the website this video so you can check it out later there you go uh, maybe we can go do our workout. Yeah, <laughs> do workout together. That's a, that could be another thing. Nice to meet you again. Nice to see you again. So it's like, yeah, because meet is usually for the first time. And after that, you say nice to see you. Thank you for these videos. They're so helpful. Do you have any English course or something like that? We just have the free English course somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Over here, one second, I've got to put on my other screen. I'll show you. I've got lots of free... Here it is. Um, just go to Woodward English. Here it is, Woodward English. Got loads of free things here. I want to help people. There we go. Go to Woodward English, here. And then, this is what it is. I've got the free English, the, all of these are free. General English, phrasal verbs, IELTS preparation, I don't have much. English conversation, there are now four. Idioms, basic science lessons, these are all free. These are all free, so you just click on them. And this one's the English one, and you've got all of these topics. Lots and lots of topics. 
And all of these, for example, uh, I don't know, this one here. Oops, get out of there, close. How do I get out of here? We've got these here, and there's a video, me explaining some random thing. You've got the, all of the vocabulary, you've got the chart, sometimes lots of charts, and more charts. <laughs> and yeah, and then you can go to the next lesson, clicking down the bottom. These are free, and you go to the next lesson. This, le this course is not complete. I'm working on it. I, every week, I add one new lesson. I put another lesson and another lesson. So little by little, it gets better, little by little. So yeah, just click on there. You don't... No, you don't need an email, you don't need anything. You don't need an email, you don't need to register, just go in there. And if you, you know, like what I do, let other people know. So yeah, and there's lots of free stuff on there. So what else we got there? Uh, it would be nice to see you again. Thank you for reading each one of the comments. That's what I do. It makes it, I like it when people make comments. It makes it easier for me to talk for two hours <laughs> and have the interaction. And yes, I read all of the comments. I practice a lot of my English listening and writing, also new vocabulary. So this is yeah, excellent. So make this your new tradition every week. Um, you can meet your friends, be together, even if it's in a virtual way. And this, that's what we do. And it's just very relaxed when we do that. With the, we have some drinks and things to eat and everything like that. Excellent resources. Thank you, Elaine. Hello, Lakshay. You're just in time for us to say goodbye. <laughs> I didn't know you have idioms. I usually teach my students a different idiomatic e expression every day. At the moment, I have two. Two idioms. <laughs> Grand total of two idioms. But I will add more. I usually add one lesson each week. It could be general English. could be phrasal verb. might be a conversation this week. It could be an idiom. It could be anything. It depends what I'm like. Oh, I want to create that. Yeah, so that that's what I do. So, um, yeah, anyone from India here? Um, usually at this time, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so there's not many from India here. Uh, a, a substantive nouns. All about nouns and things like that. We'll look at another time because we're about to finish. Everything is very well explained. Thank you so much, Elaine, for that. Thank you for your kind words. I often watch novels, TV at night. Ah, not um, you're thinking of novellas, TV series, or soap operas. If you're thinking of telenovelas, we say soap operas. I'll type that down here. Soap. I'll put that in the chat. Soap operas, teleseries in Spanish. Yeah. So please, working in that lesson, I'm really important for me and in my family tradition here in Colombia. Is drink coffee together. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah, so I add new lessons when I can. When I can. Uh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So thank you, everyone, for coming along today. I really appreciate it. It's always much more interesting when you come along and say hello and join in. So I will be here probably the same time next same time same day next week and next week it's our favorite games we're going to play the games once a month and it's going to be next week so thank you indulge no i don't I haven't got anything about the ipa at the moment ipa nope so yeah until next time take care stay safe indulge and enjoy and of course have an awesome day <laughs>